Hey guys, uh, November 13th, 2016, and welcome back to the Desert Wine Guy. Uh, ended up getting some wine from Stephanie Frey, who is the president of Conundrum Marketing. She was kind enough to ask me if I was interested in sampling some of the wines that they represent from a company called Little Black Dress. Actually, it's Fetzer Vineyards. Before I, before I go on though, I want to uh, point out my new Desert Wine Guy shirt. Uh, I want to thank Miss Desert Wine Girl from uh, Tiny Tales Boutique for uh, making this for me today. Okay, and I've actually had this for a couple of days, and uh, because of work and stuff, I haven't had an opportunity to open it up. So today, we're going to go ahead and open this up and see what we got. Very nice. Got a Chardonnay from Little Black Dress that I had uh, asked her to send, and the Cabernet Sauvignon. So, we'll start with the Cabernet Sauvignon. This is the one I'm gonna be tasting, or actually, um, some of my staff are gonna be tasting today. I'm, of course, gonna have some of it. And uh, I'm gonna try to keep my input on this as little as possible, because it is marketed towards women. Some of the marketing that Little Black Dress does is uh, they want to call it a, a go-to accessory, kind of like the little black dress, I guess, that we're wearing. Uh, like a little black dress, which is timeless, playful, elegant, and trustworthy. My impression from, from the little bit of research I've done online about these wines is um, since they do run for about 8 or $9 a bottle, they are kind of like an, uh, an everyday wine, nothing that a uh, wine aficionado would say, wow, that is a Cabernet Sauvignon. Wow, that is a Chardonnay. I said earlier, this is the Cabernet is the one that I'm gonna have my uh, my staff review today. Uh, perhaps in a couple of days, they'll go ahead and, and go for the Chardonnay. While, while I have you guys here, uh, I wanted to give, just give a really quick update on the vineyards. Uh, right now, November 13th, and uh, Las Vegas is still running 80 degrees. I know. Hopefully, that's gonna change in a little bit. Not that 80 degrees is bad, but to be honest, I'm ready to get out there and prune, and I'm ready for uh, to watch those vines bud in springtime. I'm, I'm really anxious to get out to, to the vineyards again, um, something I really enjoy. Right. So, that's pretty much it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this little video, and do look forward to the review when it comes up on my wine blog. Yeah, it's desertwineguy.blogspot.com. And until then, I'll uh, speak to you guys later.